your brain on drugs. Your brain is hooked on this Alcohol. Hello, and welcome to Sobriety Made Simple. My name is Timothy Martin. Today, we are going to be discussing the brain. What happens to your brain right after your first drink, and then the effects of long-term drinking on the brain? First, the short-term effects. What happens to your brain right after your first couple drinks? Drinking alcohol affects what's called neurotransmitters. Alcohol affects the levels of neurotransmitters in your brain. These chemical messengers transmit signals throughout your body and play a large role in controlling behavior, emotion, and physical activity. For starters, alcohol slows down the neurotransmitter GABA. And that's what drives this sluggish, slurred speech and slow reaction time in someone who is intoxicated. At the same time, alcohol speeds up a neurotransmitter called glutamate, which is responsible for the level of dopamine in the brain's reward center. You've heard me speak about dopamine in other videos. Here's a link to one above me. Now this is the feel-good neurotransmitter. It generates a feeling of pleasure and well-being. That's why you get that nice, happy, fuzzy feeling when you drink a couple drinks. Also, alcohol starts to lower your inhibitions and it clouds your judgment, which usually leads a person to engage in behavior like unprotected sex, or driving a car while drunk, or drinking more than first intended. If a person already has some underlying health disorders like depression or bipolar disorder, alcohol can also exacerbate these symptoms and increase mood swings. Drinking too much at one time also has an adverse effect on the cerebellum, that part of your brain which regulates your balance, and the cerebral cortex, your forebrain, the part of your brain that is responsible for taking in and processing new information. When these regions of the brain are slowed down, a person might feel dizzy and stagger when walking, or have blurred or double vision. They also might have difficulty paying attention to things going on around them, your sensory intake has been dulled when you're not absorbing that new information like you would normally do. Your memory is also affected after several drinks. The brain's hippocampus region becomes affected. The hippocampus is responsible for your memory. It's the memory region of your brain. It's affected in a way that contributes to blackouts and short-term memory lapses. You wake up and you can't remember what you did. Now these are just some of the effects of what happens when you first go out to a bar and start drinking. That feeling that you have is usually very fun and enjoyable, but people like us can't stop right there. We're just getting started, actually, and that's where we start getting into trouble. Now I'm going to get into the long-term effects of alcohol in your brain. One of the effects is your brain shrinks. Heavy drinking can lead to a loss of brain volume, believe it or not. Researchers in a study published in the Scientific Reports Journal state that people with alcohol use disorder, or AUD, had lesser brain matter than people who didn't suffer from AUD. The affected brain regions controlled things like attention, language, memory, and reasoning. By changing your brain size, alcohol therefore leads to worse memory and impaired judgment. Among other things, heavy drinking also speeds up memory loss at an earlier age. And a study done by the Journal of Neurology states that signs of cognitive decline were up to five years earlier in people who drink than those who didn't drink. Also, the longer you drink, the higher your tolerance has become and the more dependent you become. The same amount of booze doesn't have the same effect as it used to. With chronic drinking, the wiring elements in your brain's reward system can get worn out and lose some of their normal functioning. You build up a tolerance, is what I'm saying. And after a while, you don't feel as good as you once did with the same amount of alcohol. These changes in the brain also cause people to change the behavior about alcohol. They become more likely to seek alcohol out and to rely on it to cope with negative feelings. When people start out drinking, they drink to feel good. They drink to have fun. But as drinking becomes more chronic, they have to drink to avoid feeling bad. Does that make any sense to any of you guys? I know it does to me. Another thing that happens with long-term drinking is cell death and brain damage. Drinking to avoid bad feelings leads to higher and higher consumption, which can cause greater damage to the brain and the rest of the body. Alcohol kills cells and damages cellular networks in the brain. And it isn't actually clear to what extent they can repair themselves after we stop. We probably have all heard of the classic term wet brain. This is an actual real thing. Wet brain is technically known as 
Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome. It's a type of dementia caused by the deficiency of thiamine or vitamin B in the brain. Alcohol enters the brain and hinders a person's ability to absorb thiamine and interferes with the enzyme that converts it into a usable form for the body. Now, I have an upcoming video on wet brain and explains it in greater detail. The brain is damaged because drinking also has a horrible effect on your liver. Cirrhosis of the liver can affect and cause symptoms like brain fog, alcohol-related damage to the brain through liver damage. Chronic drinking can shorten life expectancy as well. It takes years off the back of our lives. Alcohol is also linked to various types of cardiovascular problems, including stroke. Stroke is a potentially fatal blockage of blood flow to the brain. That is some pretty horrible shit right there, isn't it? Maybe it's time to re-examine your relationship with alcohol. Folks, we live in very stressful times. I know we do. And that can cause a lot of us to run to alcohol just to cope. If you feel like your drinking has gotten control of your life, maybe it's time to get some help. Don't put it off. The time is now. You're watching this video. Give it a try. Stop for just a week and see how you feel at the end of that week. I guarantee you, you're going to feel better about yourself. You're going to feel better about your life. Things aren't as bad as you think. If you just break them down into small increments and don't look at the big picture, you can do it. It's within you. Just believe in yourself. Forgive yourself for the past. Get excited about your future. I know you can do it because I'm doing it. I drank for a long time, folks. And if I can stop, I know you can. It's within you. A better life is out there. But you've got to roll your sleeves up and you've got to get to work. Okay? No one's going to do it for you. You've got to save yourself. Okay? You got yourself in this shit. Now it's time to get yourself out. Don't feel sorry for yourself. Don't blame others. Go at it 100%. Everything you've got. There is good news out there. Once you decide to stop, a lot of this stuff can be reversed. I'm making another video on your brain after you stop drinking. Thank you for watching. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't. It helps me to continue to make these videos. Take care of yourself, okay? Remember, you got this.